just just move forward to when people will join and things are happening. But today we're going to be building the South Paul full size. Thank you everyone who's watching uh, the VOD. You guys are some of the MVPs for sure. Now I need to go post this in different channels and say, Hey people, come check out my build. Building South Paul full sized. Ba 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 da ba 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 da da. Hey, hello, Nebulant. Is it really nuts? Is it? It could be. That's good. <clears throat> You're in the future, pulling all the strings. The leadest of the hackers. <laughs> One per each hand. Just get a split keyboard, my dude. Oh, the camera's doing a pretty good job keeping focus on my face right now. That's good. Uh, I was a little slow in tracking me, but it's fine. So yeah, we got we got, we got things to do today. Things to do. A keyboard to build. Um. Ba 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 ba. What up, Zerp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what switches should you put in your E eight point five? Uh, what are your options? What are your options? Titanium plate. That's some hype. That's some hype shit right there. Anything. Anything. Um, tactiles or linears? Blueberries? Well, it could work. It could work, you know. It could work. So my bot just went off. I guess I fixed Meeseek Spot a while ago. Meeseek Spot's always been pretty fast nowadays, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> this right here is uh, this is gonna be the fun part. I'm excited for this. What up, Steelwind? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you slept well. Hope you rested well. I still got more hard seltzer. I have to christen this board um, as well today. By losing it. <clears throat> the, the Huey Classic, uh, as I like to call it. This is going to be a good time. I uh, hope everyone's doing good today. It's Sunday. It's sunny outside. It's bright. It's all giant LEDs sealing the closet. Your arms feel like noodles. Noodly arm.
だだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだ Pick out some keycaps. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. We'd be done right after that. And that sounds like a pretty concise schedule of what's going to be happening today.、Um, so, for anyone tuning in, I guess we should check this out. I wish I had a, I wish I had a bigger desk. And I need to put my camera higher so I get to see. It's like a bigger work area. So, like, I, should, I really should work on that one of these. Try to get my camera higher up so I can show more of my camera so I can always have part of like the case on screen. I don't know. I'll, I'll work it out somehow in the future. Have you finished reworking your, your work desk yet, Nebulant? Work d e s work. Yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good time today. We got, we got keyboards to build. Keyboards, keyboard. Singular.、Um, it's a big one. It's gonna take a cool minute. A lot of soldering to do. But、uh, I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's. What up, Tommy Crayons? What up, Reason on Twitch? Yeah, these are、uh, pretty sizable headphones. They're the Hi Fi Men's HE400Is. Yeah, they're,、uh, they're sizable. They are、uh, big, big chonkers on my head. Big chonkers. But、uh, sometimes that's how we like to have it.、Um, let's switch over to the.、Um, let's unbox it. Who guys, you guys already seen the unboxing? I think, I think let's, let's get open, to opening this. I need, still need to test the PCB. So let's move over to. Wham! Right here. I need to move over my window. Bam. Right there, like that. Bam. That's a nice depth. Um, then I need to move.、Uh, what do I need to move? I need to move something else. Oh, I need to move this YouTube tab、um, so I can see what's happening. Can someone test my、uh, exclamation build command to make sure I did it right today? It's comfortable enough. It s like has a leather, so it's like it kind of gets warmer in the summer. But、uh, otherwise, yeah, it's still nice. Sounds great. Nice. Thanks, Zerp. Oof, them details. Alright, here are the switches. This is, this is gonna be A. This is gonna be wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm i am excited. I hope you're excited.、Uh, let's get to it. Starting off, we have the PCB. What does it say? SWPL, Switch Plate Peripheral Southball Full Size PCB is done by AIO3. Test before assembling, which we will. Okay, let's put this just right here for now then. Okay, underneath we have our brass plate. Let's take this out. We'll need this. And we have all our hardware. Perfect. Well, that's just. There we go. And underneath here. I, I, even, like, I can't even zoom out my camera. Really?、Um, the whole thing still shows, at least. Bam! Look at that beauty! Look, big keyboard. Hello, j a y s h a Yes, the South Pole. Bam! Look at this. It's a whole 17. 3, 4, 5, 6. 17 and an extra. Look, a new unopened box. Crazy, right? Magic. And it's facing the right way.、Um, so, yeah, this is what we're going to be working with today.、Uh, first, let's test this PCB. Okay, so as, as evidence, everyone sees me opening up the staple that's holding this together. So, there's another staple in the bottom, opening it up. Woo wee! Look at this big chonker of a PCB. Oh, baby.
that's cool. If I want to install a reset button, there's actually... See this right here? This is just so you, if you want to install a push button reset button, right here you can. Which is going to be, all you have to do, you'd have to do is take out the caps lock. And then you can push the, uh, push the button. Okay, USB port over here. That's a... What microcontroller is this? It is... Not something I'm familiar with. A Amtel... 90 USB 1286. It's a bit bigger than your standard ones. Um, interesting, interesting. I don't even know how to program this yet. Jumpers. The top right LEDs, back, regular switch LEDs. Okay, so that's nice, clear instructions. Looks like it has out support too, which is cool. Okay, here's a reset and ground pins. Easy enough. Southpaw full-size typing instruments. Audio sync on the webcam is off. I know. I'm, I just have different video encoding devices that are all separate from my audio encoding devices. It's just, it's just how life is, unfortunately. Um, cool. So let's test this PCB. Uh, bam. That's what I need. I need one of these. Okay, and then I need a, uh, a, a ooze cable. Bam, okay, let me get some some EST tweezers, and uh, let's just uh, clear that, and let's start this off. Um, okay, that's not a good sign. Hello? There's nothing, there's nothing programmed by default. How do I test this PCB when nothing is happening anywhere? Because it's, yeah, I have it selected. Something on my bower, yep. Okay, so is the PCB... Nice. I, I, if the PCB is dead on arrival... I mean... USB sounds are happening. But... Nothing is happening right now, so... Do I need to flash this first? I wonder if it comes unflashed. Let's find out. I like how the instructions say, test PCB first hand, okay? There's nothing about, okay, um, config.qmk. Well, this is going to be a really short stream. I'm not supposed to be doing, I always do this, I always do something like this live, so if something goes wrong, we fix it together. That's the point of my streams. South Paul, full size, okay, it's here. Good content. Thanks. I try my best. I, I make sure I will keep it stressful for everyone. Um, then let's go to toolbox.qmk. Cool. So you just text the 90 USB. Okay. Um, what number was it? What does it say? 128B128. USB 190 USB 128. That's. One two eight six. Huh. Well, I'm just gonna download the. Uh... I'm gonna just gonna compile this real quick. Let's see. How do I put it in bootloader mode? Let's find out. Nani. Hey, thanks for the follow, Go Mean Green. I hope you're ready to see some possible jank going on.
あっ you know what? Do I need to do Zadig? I bet you I need to do Zadig. I need, I bet you I need to Zadig this bitch. Um, is it expected? So, I have a lot of driver issues. If you've, like... So, HID drivers are kind of a pain in the ass. Because they're kind of, like, uniquely created for each one. But they're all called HID drivers. So, sometimes your computer can get confused if you built a ton of boards. Almost every board I need to Zadig the bitch. Because, um... Uh... Yeah. Don't worry about it. This is pretty common for me. I should nuke all the disconnected drivers and rebuild. I should. You're, I really should do that sometime. Because there's, I have over 100 disconnected drivers. Maybe more than 120, 150. So, like, every time I put in a new PCB, my computer's like, What happened? And I'm like, come on. Come on. Hey, thanks, Honeybush. I'm trying to figure out this. Thanks for that, uh, eight months of tier one. Um, okay, we'll use 1890 USB 128. But that doesn't exist. It's a one, I see a 1286. I'm trying to program the wrong controller. Well, I'm not, I haven't tried, I haven't even tried to program it yet. Okay, I'm just, I just see no 6 at the end of this, so that's why it's confusing. Ah. Success, empty, success, disconnected, okay. Thanks, Heine. Uh. Okay, that works, so it just didn't come flash for some reason. Why didn't it come flash? I don't know. I, who sends it un- who sends an unflashed PCB? And then literally on the bag for the PCB, it says test before test before building. But then if you try to test it immediately before building, nothing's going to happen. Think about that. Like, ooh, who do I blame? AO3 or, or reconsider? <laughs> okay, let's go through this. F1. Okay. F2. I'm just going to go through everything that I see first, and I'll go back to anything that didn't register. This is a big PCB. Full-size PC. I've never worked with a full-size custom. This is my first full-size custom I've ever worked with. I think it's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Thank you for everyone who tuned in yesterday and sat through me lubing over 100 switches. You guys are... Kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Honestly, it's more ridiculous to watch someone lube 100 switches. Okay, by default, the right shift is programmed as left shift. Um, okay. That's menu key, so nothing's going to happen there. That's good. Good. Yep. 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 Turn turn that off. Cool. Yep. Okay, let's go through the rest of this. Oh my god, so many freaking things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That row's good. Q. W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P, open bracket, close bracket. Okay, that all went well. A, S, D, oh, A, 
A, there we go. F, G, H, um, J, K, L, colon, quotation, I got enter. Uh, Z, X, C, V, B, N, M, thingy, thingy, question mark. That shifter we got, because we mentioned the other side. Let's do the numpad. Let's do what's above the numpad. Blue. BL cycle? Oh, backlight. There's no backlights, though. Why is, why is backlight one of the default? Whatever. Fuck it. I'll fix that later. Um, numlock? No, I said numlock. Okay, numlock works. This guy. That guy. That one, this 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 one. Cool, 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 cool. Almost done, everyone. That's good. That's good. Sweet. Everything works. Everything works, everyone. PCB is alive. We can build this today. We have the technology. Look at this chunker of a keyboard build. What a wow. Just wow. Sure, Nebulance. You can send, send that my way. Although I do like Aqua. Um, let's put this to the side for now. Um, just because I need desk space. So I have some of these uh, these stabilizers. I don't know if these are going to work well or not. But uh, I'm going to use some of these. Saran wrap. Where's, where's the edge? Here it is. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Here we go. Beautiful PCB. They're a beautiful plate. That half plate life, baby. Okay, so bottom row wind keyless, of course, because the, the keyboard's wind keyless. Um, should I split the right shift? Do I need to? I only need to. I have like every key I, that I'd ever want. So, no. Lick it under the nav cluster. Tongue print forever. It's alright. Oh, he did include a reset button. I should should I solder the reset button in? That's really cool, actually. There's a, a reset button included in the package. Uh, the question is, what leg goes to which pin? I'm sure it matters, right? Does it... Honeybush, are you still here? Does, 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 it has to matter, right? Does it not matter? Can I really put this in any orientation? I'm pretty sure it matters. I'm confident it matters. It does? No? It does no? It, it does not? One of these boys. It matters, but you can't explain over chat. I feel like I should just put this in, as long as all the legs are touching, I can plug it in, I can push it, see if it registers, if it works that way, I solder, if it doesn't work, I rotate it, and I push it again, right? In theory, I should be able to do that, and we should figure this out. Are there instructions? Of course not. This is a keyboard community. Instructions? What are those hoity-toity kind of things? Each of the 
pin pairs. Okay, you know what? It's rectangular, so it's only going to work in one of two ways. So I'm going to have it like this, plug it in, push it, see if it registers in QMK toolbox as a reset. If it does, that's the position. If it doesn't, if I had a breadboard. If only I had a breadboard. Well, I'm going to do my strategy of uh, guess and checking because there's only two ways that it could work, you know? Okay, so have this here. Oh, okay, that that works. Let's try it the other way. It still works the other way, too. Yeah. Does it not matter? Well, this way worked better. So we're doing this one. Done. Figured it out, guys. Good job, science team. That's convenient for under the cap slot. I like that. That's cool. See, so it goes like that. You can see it right there. And this will just go like... Boop! Look at that. What a beaut. And I guess it will be hovering like that, actually. But I don't have to take... I don't have to open the board to reset it. And I don't have to have, like, a, something programmed in. I'm going to do this real quick first before we get to anything else. And then I'll do the stabilizers. How's that? Oh my god, why is... You guys hear Coco in the background going crazy? What's wrong with my dogs? I'm pretty sure just someone's just walking outside and Coco's not having it. We put a picture in Discord. I do not see where you put a picture in Discord. Oh, I see it now. Okay, I know what you mean, but um, it works. So I'm going to solder it. So we're going with this. It works exactly how I want it to work. The first way kind of worked, or this second way when I first did, yeah. I think I aligned it properly, like how you pointed out. So we're going to start off with this. Freaking A. Okay, nice and easy. Done. Let's do the stabilizers now. So I'm going to plug it in one more time and just check. I'm not going to need to switch screens. I'll tell you guys if it works. There we go. It works. I got it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Um, let's do the stabilizers now. So, uh, 7U spacebar. Backspace, enter, right shift, left shift. Um, then I need 3 for the numpad. Um, 0, enter, and plus. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 2U stabilizers. Goodness gracious, so many stabilizers. Um, 6 2U stabilizers and 1 7U stabilizer. Make 
Next one of the exception. Oh my, oh my. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yeah, and then eight is eight is the uh, uh, seven you. Wait, I have my own seven you. I'm not gonna use this for seven you. Cause this is someone else's that they're giving me slash I have to pay them back later for. So I'm gonna use my oh hey what up, what up mechanics thank you so much for the one thousand bits, hope you're doing well bud. I I I've, I it looks like all of your most recent releases have gone very well so congratulations on that. Oh my god, Steelwind thank you so much for gifting all those all those subs out to all the people watching. I am doing pretty good today. I'm I'm building a, I haven't built a full size custom like ever because full size customs are pretty rare, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm trying to use as many as my stabs. I found one of my two use. <laughs> That's good to hear, still. And cheers to that. Thank you, thank you. Um, wow, this is really my last two you stab. Flexman, oh my goodness, thank you so much for that 500 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Flexman. Okay, so I got two of the stabs I need. Let's get, let's assemble some more. Um, let's, there's probably bad practice, but I'm just going to put this on top of this. Sorry. Um, okay, so I need six more to, you know what? Should I just do an all one U, an all one U numpad? Do zero, double zero dots, and then be what? Enter plus, no, because I have these extra three keys on top. If I didn't have these extra three keys, then... Oh, what do I do for... Do I want to use space lot? <sighs> I know, there's some lag between my audio and face camera. Um, there's nothing I can do, that, do about that right now, unfortunately. Fuck. Do I want to waste stabilizers on a numpad? Do I? <sighs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it fucking properly. Okay. We'll do, we'll do it. We'll do this properly. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Just save stabs and don't build them for. <laughs> I could salvage stabs from other boards, actually. Because using these stabs cost me because this belongs to someone else that I have to pay them for. The 23 you lay out. Oh yeah, I could do the 23 you lay out. What do you guys think? Plus, minus, and then equals again. There's two equal signs. Or one's an enter technically, the other's equal. But I think in Windows it's the sa roughly the same. 0, W, 0, delete. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I do that layout? It's only one stabilizer for the, uh, for the numpad. Could work. Uh, enters directly the uh, that key code instead of just doing a normal enter. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, what do you guys think about that? I think I think that's gonna work well. We can save me one set of stabs, or set, save me two sets of stabs. If my sets have it, I'll make it work. My sets don't have it, but I'll make it work. Not many do. I don't think I have any sets that have that enter key, that equal key. To be honest, um, hey, that's what novelties are for, though, right?
Hmm. It's tempting. No, I should do something where I can actually put keycaps on that work, right? Right? That that's I think that should be that should be the move. Ah, damn, okay, I should use them. There's so many stabilizers. I'm gonna lube all these too. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna relube this space bar. I'm gonna start with the space bar. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, let's. At least I don't want to clip any of these basically. Like this one's already done. I just need to relube it. Um, ah, damn. <coughs> Why well, I'm complaining? Because I literally just lubed like 100, over 100 switches last night. And that's way harder than doing stabilizers. You know? Like this is kind of like small in comparison. Oh my god, this is so messy. <sighs> Level 2 hype train emote. Nice. I don't know what those are. I don't know how Twitch works. I just push a button, and sometimes things happen. Choo-choo. What is that? Is that a brain with wings and a bird face? I'm so confused. Oh, wait. Shit. I need to play royalty-free music. I'm going to be demonetized now. I screwed up. Rip. Rip my monetization. Rip. Oh, well, you guys gave me. Yeah, you guys gave me enough subs anyway, so. I guess it works out. YOLO. Was, my phone did a beep. How's everyone doing today, by the way? Hope you all doing well. Everything just looks fine with this lubing. There's enough lube in there already. Where is plastic love? Okay. So this is my build this week. Next week, I will hopefully be building. Um, why, why am I putting the stabilizer in backwards? Um, next week, I will be building. Hopefully, building a uh, Jane V two CE that I've had for a cool minute. That will be a fun build. I think people may be sick of seeing that build because I know a lot of streamers have already built that board. A lot. Okay, where's my other springs? Where are my springs? Lost. No, I 
Don't think I've actually caught you, caught you in a build stream. Well, welcome. One more, one more, one more. Oh, I think I would. Oh. Let's do this properly. Let's get these things out. And then let's get. Oh, there's my electric screwdriver. Oh, my desk and life is so messy right now. I'm sorry. You just leaving switches late at night. Very true. I try to usually have my build streams at a more sensible time. And my my late night looming streams late at night. Okay, got a washer on. I just hope this whole video doesn't just get, like, get muted because of the music I choose and just demonetized instead. Oh, shit. But that's okay. I mean, thanks to you guys and your wonderful subs and bits of support, I'm not really worried. You guys make shows like this possible. Okay, let's put the next one in. Simple. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, Henri, remember summer days. Macross, 82 to 99 bootleg. There you go. Do you guys hear the music now? Oh, you guys couldn't even hear the music to begin with. Okay, maybe I shouldn't play it then, so I can still get monetized. I don't know. Do you guys want to actually hear the, mu the normal music, or do you guys want to hear the... Kind of boring, royalty-free music. Okay, now I'm monetized. It's less than five seconds, so I'm okay. So, according to YouTube, it's less than five seconds, so I'm 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 still Gucci. Well, we'll see how long it takes for the royalty-free music to drive us crazy. All that. Okay, you guys, here's the themes for the music. Business, technology, time-lapse, food, education, documentary, weddings, vlog, road trip, travel, sport and fitness, a lifestyle, building and city, nightlife, fashion, science, medical, industry, aerials, landscape, nature, slow motion. All right, road trip. Okay, next is genre. Um, road trip, okay, is, is the theme... Now, the genres available are electronic, pop, hip-hop, soul and R&B, cinematic, indie, singer-songwriter, acoustic, folk, rock, blues, funk, country, jazz, reggae, world, Latin, ambient, classic, lounge, children, holiday. A cinematic road trip? Okay, let's see what this means. I guess it's like dramatic, like fantasy traveling across a landscape kind of music. I guess you can construe it as that. Hey, Teal Technic, thank you for those 100 bits, uh, by the way. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Is the music too loud? I think the music might be too loud. 
Maybe too dramatic, but it's fine. Man, you better be starting up soldering iron by putting in a pot of coals. <laughs> God damn royalty free music. I'm trying to build a keyboard, not like like destroy the one ring. Is this the dramatic this is this is the dramatic montage part of the travel sequence? This is like the Bormir getting shot part. All right, now we're on to the second song. Stay Ledger 2, complete. Howdy, 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 Flower Cutie. Good to see you here. I am also looking forward to the sound test. Half plate, lubed creams. Oh, baby. I think this is going to be... It's going to turn out interestingly. But first, we must embark on this keyboard building adventure with overly dramatic music for what I'm doing today. Like, even if I was building t this and it was edited into, like, a slow-mo, um, slow-mo montage, this music would be still way too dramatic to build a keyboard with. Is this royalty-free thing, or is for streamers for... This is for people making videos. Um, I have a license for all this when I'm playing. Yeah, it's, it's for... It's for video editors. That's why the themes earlier exist, like road trip and whatever else. It's that's why it's categorized like that. It's categorized for for editors. Okay, the rest of these sailors I don't need to clip because these are the inspired by ones. Anyone got any drink on them today? I was thinking if this is dramatic road trip music, it'd probably be an acoustic guitar track or something. There's probably one that has acoustic guitar track. 
But yeah, this is this is this one's definitely more electronic-y than um that this is definitely more electronic-y than uh than Lord of the Rings kind of thing. This is I don't even know where I'd put this. Maybe going through like a cool Arctic landscape. Or a very dramatic sci-fi travel. I'll take a part of this, cut a part of it for that. Oh yeah, my screwdriver is uh, that's nice. Like you know, it has a little screen. And I'm screwing in. It's near. Oh, forget the other way. It goes out. Fancy. Hello, Lost Pub. Uh, Flower Cutie, I think they, I forgot which which clone stabs these are. But they're available, so I'm going to use them. Very nice. Good movement. Good movement. Leave a set of stabs with bike grease and at least one guy gave you shit on it for RMK. Eh, haters gonna hate. If it works, it works, you know? Is this from the Interstellar soundtrack? Uh, I don't. I, I do not believe so. Phil Wood bearing grease, nice. Ooh, I want. I want some Phil Wood hubs on my bike. Is this a prototype? It is not a prototype. This is a. Uh, no, this is this is this is my my south wall full size I've purchased. production is true. Oh my god, that was dramatic. Oh, where did that come from? A little bit more lube on the bottom. God. Fits. Why is it so tight? There we go.
I think the song is fine. The song is okay. It's just one of those days where you get some epic keyboard music. stabilizers. Actually, one of my least favorite parts of building a keyboard has to be the stabilizers. Oh my god, please. Please. Yeah, this could be good canyon writing music. Is Southpaw better for normal? Better than normal for left hand? Never tried Southpaw? Um, it exists mainly to save mouse room. Or to give you more space for your mouse. That's why, that's the main reason it exists. It's not necessarily a right hand, left hand thing. Um, but yeah, it's more so just to give you more space on your mouse side of your keyboard. We're just going to be progressing one stabilizer at a time until we're there. Yeah, the board is actually called South Paul full size. <laughs> It'll, I guess it's also it's both the name and the style of the board. That's, uh, I guess that does make it a little confusing. Yeah, it is a full size board. That is South Paul numpad. 
and it is called straight up the southpaw full size. Debating if I should split the right shift. Ah, nah, it's fine. Song had a pretty nice swell to it. For some reason, this song makes me feel like Victor Frankenstein. I dig it. I actually dig the song. I dig it. I don't get the road trip label either. All I can say, this must be one hell of a road trip. Like... One hell of a road trip. It's like a road trip if you had like Frodo, Sam, Harry Potter and Company, and Luke Skywalker, all in and Mad Max, all in the same vehicle. And Obi Wan Kenobi from the driver's seat just looks around and says, strap in. And then Aragorn's riding on the on, 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 on the top of the car with Gimli. I don't Just mowing outside. Do you guys hear the lawn work outside? Or is my mic rejecting it enough? Crickets? Okay. Yeah. can't wait until I run out of this so I can get a new one for the cap to break again. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone's probably watching Top Clack. I mean, they got like over 200 people watching right now. I mean, I know Neblin has like both streams open at once. I mean, they're like one of the most popular content creators on for keyboards on Twitch, you know. 
So, I mean, it makes it makes sense people will be watching them. I've been in the community for a long time, but I stay pretty low key for a lot of my for a good amount of my stuff. Duck out in that 30 minutes. No worries. Hopefully by then we're finished looting the stabilizers. Good God. These take a cool minute to do each. I'll be building this till I'm done, and then I'll be working on this weekend keyboard for the rest of today. Three stabilizers left for the numpad, and then we will be donezo. What switches am I putting in? I am putting in uh, cream switches that I lubed uh, yesterday, and I put 55 gram progressive springs in them. Pretty excited, to be perfectly honest, uh, to build it up the switches. Let's change the mood. Let's see what hopeful plus cinematic gives us. Nice and quiet, nice and quiet. Nice and simple, nice and simple today. I mean, thirsty, I need to start drinking my hard seltzer with my energy drink. What should I start with? Start, should I start with the uppers or the downers? That's a real question, you know what I'm saying?
I guess those are the two choices, everyone. What should I luge out of the keyboard case later? The sel hard seltzer or my energy drink? You already started with a whiskey. Very nice. Very nice. Thanks, Peach Puppy, for the follow. Uh, yeah, I think I might uh, I might start to get some hard seltzer. I got, I, I have more, so I can start now and grab more once this this can runs that runs out. Got five of the carry cases I suggested on YouTube. You know, limit yourself to five keyboards, hopefully. I hope that works out for you. I hope that works out for you. But I hope those cases also work out really well. Um, hope you enjoy them. Hope they 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 do what they need to do for you. I I love mine. I'm probably gonna buy at least one or two more in the future. Okay, let's put this. Um... Yeah, all of my cases I have are all full. I definitely should get... At least a few more at this point. I don't know how am I going to store a big keyboard like the Southpaw full size. That's my question because this is bigger than those cases. Um, and it's a big heavy chunker too. So I got to think about how I'm going to store. I could put it in my organizers, one on the video. But I feel like because this is a full size, it's going to poke out way too far compared to the TK under my chair. Cool, cool. Two more stabilizers. Two more stabilizers. Let's just preemptively put one more screw out. I got three screws there. Put this away. And then... One, two, three, four... This all these away. Save space on my work surface. We don't have much space on. There we go. Making more space. Making more space. Blah, 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 blah. This is the only reason you would commission build is to get the satisfaction of building but without keeping the thing. <laughs> it's too bad that a Southpaw setup would have loved that PCB but in black. Yeah, full size customs, not not the most common thing they're they can get pricey because of how big a machine has to be to cnc keyboard that big uh let's see even though it took a long time i am happy i joined in pcb work so that's a major major strain off my chest to be honest like whoa More because of the left hand numpad for you. Yeah. Yeah, the group by July 2018. Hey, what up, Stormlex? Thanks for joining all the way from the the, the Union of Europe. Also known as the European Union.
I did get the most overkill setup for this keyboard though. Like the most overkill setup. Okay, I got the 7075 aluminum, which is it necessary? Or is it even like is it even noticeable for most anyone? No, it's not. But I can flex and say I got it. I got the brass weight. There's an option to get it without a brass weight, which is a lot cheaper because the brass weight is a big hunk of hunk of the do kind of thing. Like it's it's big. It's big. I'll show you in a second once I finish all the stabilizers. The chunk that we gotta work with today. Hey, brother. Almost there, almost there. Nylon washers, they're great. You guys, if you guys are building keyboards, I always re recommend using nylon washers. It's good to have it, even if you don't have, you know, pads or traces underneath. I think it's still good to have it no matter what, to use nylon washers. Where do we buy them? I need them for different things. I got I just got these on uh Amazon. Um Yeah, you can get like uh M2. I think these are all M2 washers. Reason on Twitch, are you looking for the build command? I don't know what Brightwing. I don't know what Brightwing is. I don't know what these fancy fancy extensions and bots do. It's all good. Alright, everyone, last stabilizer. Whew, almost there, almost there. I'm gonna wipe off all this lube that's on this thing right here. Does anyone attempt to speed build? I mean, it's kind of hard just because like different keyboards take different lengths. Like I'm building a big board, so I got more switches to solder. So mine's always gonna take longer for this one. But I, it's an idea I have played. I played I, around with this idea, of, like you know, like how speed runners will have a little like little chart on the side that has like the different the different marks. I think I'll have like stab one, stab two, stab three, da da da, lubing, uh, or um, soldering switches, putting on a keycap, stuff like that. Any, any thoughts on 205 grades here for stabs? Have I tried? I've tried it once. It worked out fine. Um, I think it worked. For most people, it'll work out a-okay as long as you apply enough uh, 
as long as you apply enough lube. I don't think it's a major problem for most people to use it. Personally, I just like using this dielectric grease so much. I've always consistently used it, and it just doesn't let me down. I, it, I get the results I want to get, and that's mostly because I'm the most used to using it as is, you know? I know a lot of people like using, uh, I'll bring it out, uh, this Super Lube right here. There's also a very common one, because uh, it has the uh, PTFE. Um, I, know I, don't, I don't find that texture as nice to use. The viscosity of it compared to the dielectric. Here we go, putting the last insert in, snapping that wire in, covering the wire, there's a little bit of more residual lubes. Okay, let's do it. riff nope come on and screw fit in that washer So has anyone eaten today? What do you guys eat today? Today, uh, today all I have is some crackers and cheese, and it was absolutely delicious. It involves some sharp cheddar, pepper jack, jack, and Swiss. You're gonna mess around with putting mil max soccer in your IKBC MF108 aluminum? Yeah, that'd be pretty solid, I think. If that's what you're after. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet. Uh, let's put this to the side for just a second because I need to wipe this down. No warm cucumber, no warm cucumbers today. Uh, I know some people wanted to see the keyboard, so I'll show off the keyboard as well real quick. Oh God. I'm gonna order wings and some leftover rice. Solid, solid. So for those of you who are wondering, uh, this is my keyboard. Looks like this. It's a big chunker. Big boy. Alright, so to make sure we did everything right, we gotta take this PCB and we gotta lay the plate over top. And does everything fit in the lineup? It does. Sweet. Now we can start putting these switches in. So let's grab the rest of this hardware, put it over here so I don't lose it. Actually, even better. Let's take this hardware, and it's not magnetic. God damn it. Uh, what keycaps will be put on it? Uh, I don't know yet. I, I don't know yet. Let's, let's find out together in a little bit. Okay. Uh, I got all these creams. Uh, let's just uh, get a little bit of one. Nope, okay. I just got to poke them out. Let 
Making it rain creams, baby. Bam. I can put this, my living tray away now. Gotta fit it past this light. And then... Oh, the pinging of the uh, switches on the brass. Yeah. There we go. That's gone. Here we go. Let's get started. Okay, they're not super hard to push in. It's definitely a creamy board, baby. I'm get the corner switches in to kind of make alignment and everything in my life easy. So the plate doesn't just kind of like try to wiggle around. Oh, I only need more than just the four alignment pins, damn. Hold on, I get some some alignments through this plate. Alignment boys, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I got some alignment pins. Okay, let's uh, let's luge this board first. Okay, let's let's, let's do that. I promise I do that. So let's let's open up this board. Oh, on the back side, we got some hex screws. Uh, anyone curious to see how much is? Anyone uh, do you guys want to do the weight now or the weight after it's all built? What do you guys think? Let's do the weight after it's all built. That's I think that's that's better. With with keycaps and with switches in. We'll do it after, okay? Yeah, I tried not to drop this. This is actually, like, heavy. Hex 2.5. Once again, my arch nemesis of hex sizes. For real. So many people in this community design with hex 2.5. Also not magnetic. I don't know why I got a magnetic tray out. Oh my god, these are, some of these are tightened a bit tight. Why am I doing this manually? I have an ele electric boy for this. You don't need six screws. <laughs> How many secure in this case? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws secure the top and bottom. A little bit of an overkill, wouldn't you say, Sake? I mean, I'd say six screws total, three in the top and three in the bottom would be fine. But 12 total is a... It's a lot. Especially since it does feel like they're threaded at least half of the way. Okay, note to self, the rear ones are longer. Oh, that's cool. They have the uh, non-threaded part th at the top and then threaded at the bottom. Okay, something we'll have to keep in mind when we reassemble this. Guessing this group I won't run again? Uh, probably not, no. Okay, oh. Oh my god, this is... Nowhere to grip the top and the bottom to separate them. There we go. So you can see some of the issues that made it be stock. Let's zoom in. And these are the issues that I passed up and I said, I don't care, it's fine. Like that's that's small stuff here and there. 
Let's see, look, he has 70, 75. I don't know why. Man, they got focus there. He's got some splotching going on on the underside. Come on, focus. Don't focus on the PCB. There we go. Case is so OP. <laughs> So these are like the errors, but when I saw these in the pictures, I'm like, wait, all these are the inside. I'll, I'll take the board. It's fine. Everything on the outside is basically fine. Look at this machining, though, for this. That's nice. That's cool. You know, I'm taking routing that. Look, they, they, they routed another layer, too. See, one, two stepped for the blocker as well because the blocker is you know same as on top yeah cool okay so i said i'd luge out of my board so we're gonna luge where's the usb hole here's the usb hole so i'm gonna do the other camera where's my other camera option Okay. We're gonna lose with, um, I guess we're gonna lose with some hard seltzer. Huey, some Huey, why do you do this? You know, back in the day when um, people would send a ship out to sea, I guess they still do it, you know, they swing the champagne bottle or whatever, and, you know, that thing. Um, well, I, I believe in the same spirit of that, but instead pouring a drink through my through the bottom of my case and drinking through the USB hole. Uh, so we're going to accomplish this together. Is this sanitary? Probably not. That's okay. That's okay. Please clean it. <laughs> okay, hold on. I got, I got some Clorox, so... We'll do a wipe real quick. Okay, it's been wiped. Let's wait for it to uh, wait for it to dry. Well, it dries. I guess. Do you guys want to see how thick the weight is? Sulfurize cutting oils. Oh, nope. Okay, they are different hex size for the weights. Try to go to hex 3.0, baby. I I understand why why designers will use different hex sizes, but like as someone who just assembles keyboards, come on, make this easy for me. Did you really have to change it to a hex three for the weight? The weight's only attached by two screws, by the way. While the case is overkill 12, here's the uh, the screws for for the weight. There's two of these, as far as I can tell. Yep. Here's the weight. It's angled, which is pretty cool. You can see that. It's slotted, so the screw goes at the end here and here. To be fair, Sake, most people in this community who design keyboards are people who learned CAD and learned that mostly what a keyboard is is extruding a rectangular prism several times. Um, that's the basis of what a keyboard is. Cool. It looks like it's mostly all dry now. Let's put it back in. And um, it's a really cool weight, though. It's smart that they use the, the they use uh, the inside part for the end addition hook hook points. You saw a stream of them using a. Oh, you, are you talking about um, Key Colt? Key Colt stream? The, the, their brand new five axis? Or are you talking about Salvin and his his five axis because they both have five axis and they both stream regularly 
five axes OP. Yeah, it's probably overkill for sure, but. There we go. Let's cut that seated properly. Let's put these two screws back in. Technically, it's a fourth axis. But it's kind of cool in a way, right? How serious people are taking keyboards. Um, I do know the guys behind Key Cold are engineers. I'm not sure what kind of specialty uh, they they studied. Um, but let's... Ah, cheers. Black cherry. Okay. Let's lose this. Oh. Okay. 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 This is gonna, probably going to go poor. I'm probably going to spill all over myself. But uh, that's part of the fun, right? Uh, well, everyone, this is my... Southpaw full size, uh, cheers. For a little bit, that works. <sighs> I spilled a little bit on my desk, but it's fine. <laughs> Okay, let's clean this up. God bless. Brass corrosion, I don't I don't care. It's it's raw brass, it's gonna corrode anyways, no matter what I do. Unless I finish it myself, which I could. But it's part of the, the charm, the patina. You step away for two minutes. The channel where we bust out the Dremel and take shots of seltzer off boards. That is that is my channel. This is why I don't make the big bucks. <laughs> Cause it's crazy. Okay. This mount switches. I am crazy. I'm not that crazy. This is why I should make the video? No. <laughs> no. Thank you, uh, J Chef, for those five tier one subs. Man, I think one third of all people watching today have got a gift sub. So, thank you guys. You guys rock. Oops. I'm dumb. I put a switch in upside down like an idiot. So the thing about half plate builds is you always want to put all the switches in the half plate first because like I said, my half plate did come a little bit bent. So I got to make sure it's the half plate portion can be as straight as possible. So no switches are slightly lifted or uneven. Uh, yeah, my, my, I'm sorry. My voice and camera aren't uh, aren't synced. I do apologize for that. It's something I do want to fix in the future. It fix it in the future from what I read. Basically, you have to like do a offline stream recording, measure the, the how many frames it's, it's uh, different, and then with an OBS, set an audio delay with that many frames in order to get my like this camera to sync up with uh with my voice i synced with chat <laughs> delayed just like chat baby what up sour good to see you it's about a second of latency Oof. Okay. Okay. It's going well, going well. I don't even hear that. You don't even hear that. You guys hear that? Me pushing the switches, the four uh, plate mounted switches, you can probably barely hear that.
very hyped and rare creams. <laughs> Only occurs when you see the chat, your face cam, when you have the board cam working. That's weird. Hmm. So yeah, I'm going to put all the plate mount switches first to give the plate as much structure as possible. Um, because, I mean, this part has no structure, so it doesn't really matter. I really love this reset button right there. I mean, realistically, anyone who uses QMK will just say, Huey, just program a reset button somewhere on the board. Do, like, you know, FN some random key. And then, boom, you, you have it. You don't have to worry. I'm like, well, I don't know. I feel like having a, a hardware reset is always, like, the best backup you can do, no matter what. And this, and this board has, like, three hardware backups. There's this button, and there's two different places on the PCB where you can push down uh, where you can short two pens to reset to a bootloader mode, which is nice. The music stops. Uh, am I going stepped caps lock or unstepped? Just kidding. I'm going stepped caps lock. There's only one option when it comes to a board like this. You got to step that caps lock, everyone, okay? It's the Huey lesson, everyone. It just looks better. It's more cinematic. You have reset on FN1 and another key press, but you would love to have a physical reset button. Yeah, physical reset button. It's I think it's where it's at, to be honest. And I forgot which one's for the... For these I do. So I'll do those later. I we drill a hole in the switch covering the reset. Or the keycap. <laughs> I just take the keycap off and you can just push the button though. I you know, drilling a hole is a bit unnecessary. I always think for numpads, the sideways switches always throw me off. So which way is it? Like that, right? That correct? That's correct, yep. That's fine for now. Let's do the rest of these. Ooh, this is going to be annoying for alignment. These either so either these hold the 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 pegs for the creams or the or the peg mount holes on the PCB. One of them is not to spec because it's loose. So when I solder, I have to solder one leg, check to make sure it's aligned properly, and then solder the other leg. This is going to be a real pain. I have to do this one at a time. I can't just put all of them and then solder. Not really. Maybe it could. No, because if I try to flip it upside down, it'll fall out. Okay. Okay. Well, time to get get ready to start soldering. I'm going to solder all these switches I have down first, though. Well, this is my first left-hand numpad. Uh, technically, I do have a separate numpad that I use sometimes. Uh, so it's not going to be that crazy for me. But to be fair, I don't even use a numpad that often. But Okay. But this is my, yeah, this will be my first keyboard with a integrated left hand numpad. And I'm pretty excited. I'm really not looking forward to this. This is going to be a very long build to solder. Uh, 
why is that switch not in? There we go. So yeah, if you were going to lube a keyboard, what drink would you use? Or lose your keyboard. Champagne. Oh, how classy. Depends on the board. That's fair. It is warm in my room. How do you do the nori or cricket? <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Two with a split. Alright, making good progress now. Kind of.
the fact that the pegs aren't properly to spec is gonna annoy me so much. I should have got dry ice before, uh, yeah, solder roll holder is nice. I should have got some dry ice before my stream. Get a dry ice bucket and hook that up to my little desk fan in the middle of my room so I can blow freaking cool air. Oh my goodness. Okay, all the secured switches are soldered. Okay, now let's uh, I guess we'll start with the numpad. Well, it doesn't even have much room to be crooked. Okay, so it looks like the spec is mostly okay. Cause look, if even if I try to make it crooked, it's not really like shifting that much. So I feel like even if I had it shifted, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It's just like it doesn't really stay in when I uh, when I flip it that easily. But it uh, looks like it'll be fine in terms of being straight. I don't think I'll have major issues with them being like super crooked. As long as I push down, because if I don't push down, it might be like slightly not completely fully in. I need to make sure it's fully in. I solder it. There we go. And now I have to repeat this for every single switch. Yes, Nebulon, why do you hate me right now? What did I do this time? This time. You just open that bag of Mod H. How does it make you feel? The Ellie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellie's are a thing that exists. Got him. What up, Ten Strong? Haven't seen you in a cool minute. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm building, annoyingly, kind of building my southpaw full size. Um, the, the, the PCB peg mount holes aren't uh, aren't big enough, so the so I can't put all of them in. I put them in one at a time and do them. Take care, Bill Saki. Thanks for joining. Hello, one above all from Germany. So this is the audio. I don't know if the audio is clippy. I know it's desynced.
definitely one of the most tedious boards I've built in a long time because I have to put one switch in at a time and do this and then push it and push the whole PCB down while I solder it to make sure it goes in straight. I hate this. I really do. Impressions of the case? The case is mostly fine. Oh, the things you do for the switches you want it to have. Fuck. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna just stay there while I drop you. Uh, oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, what a pain. You missed it. I lose uh, hard salts around the case earlier. Cheers, everyone. Looks like the case is dry. I just need to clean some schmutz out of it from the uh, Lysol, the Clorox wipe I used to clean it. I could do this faster, but this is just going to be the tedious process I'm going to do switch by switch as we get through this whole case, this whole keyboard. Oh my god. I'm already sick of this, I'm not going to lie. This is such a pain in the ass to build, Jeff. You have no idea what I'm going through right now. I am straight up suffering. This is going to be one of the longest soldering I have to do. Because it's so tedious. It'll be one at a time very slowly. Tight plate? No. So, in, so it's a half plate. The issue is the PCB peg mount holes are too big. So my creams, if I put the creams on and I flip it upside down, they all fall out. So I have to put one switch on, flip it over very quickly, hold the switch, hold the PCBs down so the switch is all mounted as much as it can be, and then solder it, and then repeat that for every single switch I do. See, I'll use one finger to hold down the PCB while I solder it. So I'll show you the next one. See? So now... I grab the next switch, I, I put it in here real quick, okay? I kind of somewhat hold it as I flip it upside down because it's going to fall out, right? And then I just got to smack it down really hard. Oh, there you go, smack it down like that. Hold it down, because if I don't, it's going to fall out, right? Um, oh my god, please, solder. Freaking kale PCB leg is not being the right size. Okay. 
Almost on the numpad, everyone. Then we get to do the alphanumeric, the alphanumeric section. Yeah, I hate this right now. It's gonna sound and be wonderful when I'm done. Oh my god, but I gotta get there. Nope. Okay, let's just see if I can do it from underneath like this. Come on, come on, uh, uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, got this one. There we go. Here we go. We're making we're, we're making moves, everyone. Oh yeah, Jeff and Ten. Did you guys get the uh, get to see the uh, reset button? The reset button's cool. I soldered it myself. The reset button's right here, right next to the caps lock. So if you want to reset it, um, and you want a hardware button, you just take off the caps lock key, and bam. Jeff, that makes, that makes way too much sense, Jeff. But I might. I like this hardware reset button. It's pretty. The key thing, uh, though, um, Jay Shuff, is when I solder, I still have to hold the PCB down. Yeah, it's a really nice cutout for the reset button. All right. What, all the flipping over? It's okay. Half of the reason you guys watch my stream is to watch me suffer. So I'm, 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 I'm giving the people what they want. Hello, Escape D. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream again. Forty-four viewers. Dang. I guess this is what happens when I. Uh, I guess this is what happens when I stream at a at a reasonable time, as opposed to streaming randomly late at night. Hey, Melodit, thank you so much for that uh, three months of uh, Twitch Prime. Now, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's do the next one. Let's do this whole little flip, 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 and and ah, there we go. Got it. Caught it. It's too good. Just too good. Day streaming was streaming at night and saying only watch a board. That's, I mean, that too. To be fair, I think that's a good warning to give people when it's like a lube stream. Because come on. Although usually in my lube streams, I think more people have been enjoying them now because we just talk about random bullshit. Um, I think some people like those more now just because those are more off. Those are completely off the rails. And when things get off the rails, we get into hot cucumber territory. So those of you who are hot dog fans, what are condiments that you get on a hot dog? For me, it's just mustard and relish, nothing else. I think that is peak hot dogging. I think yeah, this is a doable time for uh for, for Europeans. Cheese is the only thing you put on a hot dog. Ah, cheese is pretty good on a hot dog. Sleepy European. Don't you know Stormlex? Just as many Europeans watch American keyboard builders as they do buy ISO kits. Got him. Got him. Got him. Uh, Jeff. Tomato, onion, pickle, pickle spear, celery salt. Interesting. Sport peppers if they got him. Mustard only, mustard plus relish, or chili and cheese. 
chili and ch chili cheese dogs are pretty good. Man, I was so bummed when Costco discontinued the Polish dog. That was a sad day. Because they wanted to be healthy. No, something must have happened with their supply chain. Hey, do I know if C3 Sabs have issues with Infinity keycaps? I do not think they do, to be honest. I do not know if they do, but I do not think that they do. They do, or no, I think that they would. You know what? I lied. There's one more thing I like to add to hot dogs. Um, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Delicious. It's like the German version of kimchi, basically. It's delicious. I know you tell this board's gonna have a good amount of flex, hopefully. Okay, almost done with one row, the, the, the number row. Hey, it looks pretty straight, too. Oh, I need to drink more of my after finishes row. I'm going to take a huge swig of my hard seltzer. I need I need this in my life right now. Yay, Nebulin, you found your TX Films. grab the hard seltzer do you guys like hard seltzer i think it's all right i think it can be pretty hit or miss they believe you have around three thousand switches that aren't on keyboards damn it's a lot of switches bud that's a uh... You might have a problem. I'm not saying you have a problem. I definitely do not have more than 3,000 switches that are not on boards. Because I've also built a lot more boards. I'm confident I have less than 2,000 switches. <laughs> I can't say with confidence I have less than 1,000 switches on boards. But for sure less than 2,000 switches that aren't on any kind of keyboard. Yeah, this board has a ton of mounting points. It's full size, baby. Oh my gosh. You feel better about your switch hoarding issue? I, I, I actually... Definitely, that made me feel a lot better about my huge tub I showed everyone yesterday. It's definitely less than that. So, I don't have it that bad. Mm. 
Now then, you have enough switches to open up your own web store and sell four switches for a dollar. Or sorry, four switches for ten dollars. Like a certain piece of shit that's online right now and uh, trying to make idiots and scam people, newer people in our community. Fucking assholes. I can't believe we were doing that. Piece of shit drop shippers is what they are. Imagine stealing product photos from Novel Keys, Zeal, and KBD fans. Imagine selling a Zeal switch for $10 each. Fucking scum out there. Oh my god. I had to redo this because the solder got stuck on a switch. Okay. I'm making actually pretty good progress despite the fact that this is a pain in the ass to do. So, it's not too bad, surprisingly. You know? Nope. I missed that one. I don't know why. Fuck me. I got it so well last time. Oh, I can do that. Okay. I'm really curious on how this is going to finally end up. I really am. So anyone got any exciting plans on this beautiful Sunday? Hopefully it's beautiful where you are. I know for some of you in, uh, yeah, it is a half plate. Um, it's a half plate. Uh, the issue is the kale PCB pins are too small. So when I put the switch in normally, uh, the reason I'm doing one, one at a time is when I put the uh, switch in. So I put the switch in, but the kale PCB pins are so small. So I just turn this upside down. Oh, well, I don't know why this one didn't, but typically they just fall right out. It's been rainy in Pennsylvania. It's going to rain the next three days for nebulance over in Maine. This one's staying in. That's nice. I thought creams were bad. This is like the only downside of creams. Everything else about creams is fine. Hey, another person out in PA. You need a mason jar or something for your straggler switches. 
Ziploc bag, Ziploc bags, bud. Or if you're not bougie enough, Amazon basic plastic bags, baby. Half plate South Paul. This is such a cool build. I'm really happy with this. I haven't even finished it yet, but like, I'm just happy with the concept of this build. Time to do the open and close brackets. I have enough switches, right? Looks like I have enough switches. Looks like I'm running low on switches, but I have enough switches. Actually, you know what I didn't think of? I might not have enough switches. Because a full-size keyboard is 104 switches, right? I'm like, well, I lo I'll lube 105 because I'm missing the two here because I got a win keyless top. But I realize this board has these three on top. So I might be short one switch. If that happens, I'll just lube one, one switch freehand sw lubing. But this could be an issue. Or I desolder a space bar and make space bar a heavier spring. Clicky switch on escape key. I mean, I guess, fr I guess freehand lube a switch. I, I have more creams to work with. Clicky switch on every key. I don't know about that, bud. Not for this board, at least. Clean switch out of the way. Linear and tactiles are miles better. It depends on why you're building the keyboard. There's a time and place for for clicky switches. I mean, there's a reason people still love beam springs. But to be fair, they don't make they don't make. You know, switches like beam springs these days anymore. Uh, what controller? It's yeah, it's the uh, 1286. Uh, it's it is actually pretty. It's pretty fat, right? Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, the 1286 controller. Um, Amtel 90 USB 1286. Indeed, but yeah, it's a it's a freaking fat, fat microcontroller, right? Fat controller. Good good eye, Krotko. Good eye. <laughs> it's a, it's one hell of a genre. One of the first thing they noticed was looking over the PCB. I was like, this isn't the standard Amtel 32U4 that I, I I'm used to. What is this?
When I am done building, are you going to trade it for your Bach? Nice try, Storm. Nice try. This one? Hell no. I waited too long and I'm too hyped for this build. He's talking about the Box CP, a, uh, a decent sized board as well. Has the 1800 CP layout. Full size custom rare, yep. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, definitely a rare kind of board to find. My big issue is, how am I supposed to store this board? Where do, where do I put this? For anyone who's seen my storage video, kind of knows where I'm at in terms of storage and the difficulties I'm facing. Tofu 65 E what baby? Whoa, what? Oh my god. Frickin' A. You always get to see something hilarious? Hilarious. Look at the size of these two holes. You guys know something? You guys notice anything about the size of these two holes? These two PCB mount holes? Maybe you'll notice one is slightly smaller than the other. You might also notice that on this one as well. What the heck is with this? Why is this? Well, what? What the fuck is this? I was like, why is this one so hard to push in? And it actually, it's actually, I think, spec too small. So that, the, oh, oh my god, the cream like snap, like hard snaps in for both of for both of these. Nope, okay, just for that one. But this one actually stays in enough. So I'll just solder both of these while pushing them down. But that first one, it was a hard snap in. Oh, nope, one of them fell out. Have I used, ever used a drill on a PCB before? Do you really want to know the answer to that, j -Shuff? Switches that are assembled, the number is 1380. I have a lot more assembled switches. Alright, last alpha row, baby. Closing in on the end. Closing in on the fact that I'm probably a switch short, baby.
Hey, what up, Zifo? Full size, what year is it? <laughs> yeah, right? A freaking full size. exact amount of switches I need I guess you guys aren't getting a forced curve graph of of the switches on this board Oof, big true. Big true, not gonna argue against that, Jeff. Just wait for the eventual return of. Ah, fine. Burning myself and this week in keyboards. Okay, for anyone who remembers, I'll just I'll take the words the top. Oh, baby. We're making the progress. Notes. Okay, the inside one. Wow. This is a, I think this is one of the first times I've ever lubed the exact amount of switches I needed. What a time to be alive. I think the consensus was not to burger mount this. So I will not be doing such things. Speaking of burgers, onion rings inside burgers, yay or nay? What do you guys think? Should onion rings belong in a burger? Big yay?
You can pretty much put anything on a cucumber. You even see cucumbers. Ah, uh, that's a lie. Cucumbers. Pickles, yes. Cucumbers, no. Mozzarella sticks and burgers? That's crazy. I would like an appetizer inside of my entree, please. Okay, look at all these attachment points for the plate. Holy crap. Onion straw and straws are good. Oh, baby, look, look at this. Looks good, right? Okay. Let's put this away. So there's the top. For one who's curious, here's the bottom. Ah, oh, it's pretty heavy. Why is he in a brass weight? I mean, for the flex, I guess. Don't worry, we'll be doing guesses on the weights in a second once I assemble all this back together. I believe we switched size again. It's okay, I cleaned it from my drink. Can we do it in kilo? We'll do it in all measurements. You can guess in any, in any, in either pound slash ounces or kilograms. You can, you can guess in either. Because I'll, I'll, when, whenever I weigh these, I always scroll through the different weights. So. Stormlux, you're guessing 4.5 kilograms. Crotco, 4.2. Steelwind, 4.3. I guess they're all close to each other. You all think it's... Eight pounds, four ounces. Tommy, three point three kilograms. Four thirteen point four pounds is nebulant. Lost pub nine pounds. Jeff, eight pounds nine ounces. <laughs> I don't think it works like that, guys. Uh, okay, so this is going to be the weight for the built board, no keycaps. Okay, everyone have their guesses ready? 
I'm gonna take out my scale right now. Okay. It is zeroed. Any last takers on weight guess before I put it down? I'll, I'll count from ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nine pounds, 11 ounces, also known as 4.395 kilograms. You don't want to get close to four point for the kilogram people? We got a 4.5, 4.2, 4.3 from Steelwind. No one, anyone say 4.4? Those are really good guesses though. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, you guys guessed really well. Yeah, three points. 4.39 kilograms. Also known as 9 pounds, 11 ounces, roughly. Listen, number one, what a terrible board. Okay, I guess we do a key set now. What are we doing for key sets, everyone? What are we feeling like? GMK DMG? Or, okay, GMK TA90, I think is a good option. GMK Dolch is an option. Kind of feeling dolch. Kind of feeling, I'm thinking dolch. Put some essay on it. The only essay I have is essay Olivia, which could look good on this. Or also have S essay lime, but I, no. What the heck I put DMG on? Cause I don't have all my I have some of my DMG keycaps, not all of them. 
thinking maybe Dolce though. TA90? Could work. I do not have Penumbra. TA90. TA90. TA90? Dolce? I think I'm gonna do, we're gonna go between one of these two. TA90 or Dolce, everyone? Which one? Let me know. Wait, let's do a pull. Straw pull, let's go. I don't have GMK white and black. Wait, no, I do have white and black. Oh, it's pristine. TA90 looks like it's in the lead. I don't think Dol Dol is Dolce going to have a comeback. I do have Cat Alpha. Cat Alpha? Um... PP, PPS black actually could work. PPS black blanks would look pretty clean. But it looks like otherwise, if you go for actual colored sets, K90 is in the clear lead. So let's try K90 out. Let's just try it out. Let's, let's, let's try it out, everyone. Let's see how it turns out. You know, maybe it'll look great. Icon or text plus icon? I guess it's one of the big decisions we have to we have to, we have to decide on everyone. Icon, icon, three icon, four icon, three texts with icon. Is this something I need to make another straw poll for? Full size should have text. You know what? I kind of agree with that sentiment. Yes, the, uh, sorry, my, my, my audio is not synced properly. That's correct. Yeah, 
Row five or no row five? Uh, T does not have row zero, no. Row five? This is row five, yeah, this is row five. Row five is fun. Row five is fun, it's funky fresh. Very dramatic music for putting keycaps on, isn't it? This is the most dramatic keycap installation. Everything's coming along pretty nicely, I think. Why can't I count? How's it looking to everyone right as it, as, it, as it's coming together? What do you all think as it goes together bit by bit? Yay, nay, what dost thou say? Oh, I put the row, wrong enter. There's a row 5 enter. I need to change that out. Oh, baby.
Oh, yeah, there's a bit too many zeros there. You're correct. Are you other alt key? I know of your existence. There you are. Um, let's look at what a numpad looks like online. So it's divide, multiply, multiply, minus. Divide, multiply, minus. That's right, right? What's the default layer for these three keys? By default, these are BL cycle, BL toggle, and monetary number one. So these are whatever I want them to be. I'm technically done as is. Artisan's top left. Well, I can program it anything. I mean, I got I got this guy. One of these. Um, I'm trying to look what else I have. I guess I got a few guys I could use. I'll just one of these guys instead. What do you guys think? Any any opinions on these options for up there? Or are these three? Are, I guess these three are fine for now. Those three are fine for now. Okay, let's put the rest of these keycaps away. Well, here's my softball full size. Pretty high pitched sound, but it's fine. Feels smooth. Here.
and that's just a standard top mounts. As a comparison, the board I built last week, my Bower, which is a bit deeper because of the um, the gaskets. Sounds fine. Sounds fine for what it is. I'm just happy after waiting over a year, I have a usable board after waiting so freaking long. That's what I'm most happy about. Um, probably should have got a full plate instead of a half plate, to be honest. Yeah, linear half plate doesn't work as well unless it's like gasketed. I like the sound too. I mean, you think my unicorn sounds a bit nicer, but much more deeper. But as like a standard typing experience, it's, it's good. It's fine. Well, so I guess time to put my Bower back in storage and put this on my desk for a cool minute. Because I don't have anywhere else to put this keyboard. Because I don't have storage space for a freaking chonker of a, of a board. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. I guess the real question is, uh, should I put a weeb sticker on the back now? Let's take these off. Oops. Sorry, friend. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's true. I don't even need to FN layer anything because I have everything. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, I got my little box for stickers, slaps, and decals. Hey, GMK Mizu. Anti everything club. Okay. I don't know what I have in here. Uh, some things here may be questionable. Well, that's fine. I haven't gone through this in so long. Okay, I actually need to organize this first. This is cute. No, I'll, I'll do this later. I'll do this later. Too many stickers to go through. Never enough time. Let's put an HHKB sticker on it. It's <laughs> Oh, well, any questions about this board? Thank you everyone so much for uh, hanging out and watching me build this uh, crazy chonker of a board. Um, it's pretty intense, to be honest. Oh, it's still more hard seltzer to drink. Looks good with wooden keyless, I think, to be perfectly honest. I'm really happy with the wooden keyless. Fifty five gram uh progressives, definitely pretty light, but like it's like an easy like this isn't gonna fatigue me at all. Would I consider this one of my top ten? Eh, probably not. Probably not. Yeah, probably not in my top 10 of boards, but still a nice board. 
And like, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad board if it's not in my top 10. I just have a... Uh, I just have a very competitive top 10. The numpad striping looks so weird when it's... Oh, yeah. You go, oh, yeah, because it borders on this instead of being on the other side of this where it makes an outside border. How is it having my numpad to the left? Um, someone in chat, so I, so I, so it's random to me. Give me a string of numbers. Okay, not bad. Not too bad. Okay, yeah, not, 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 not really, it's not too bad. I'm a little bit slower than my right hand, but that's just like a, a, a getting used to thing, right? I just built it. Yeah, it's I was a little bit of getting used to, but I just think it's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited for this. Well, everyone, I think this is a pretty good time to to get ready to, uh... oh, man, what a good stream. What a fun time building this keyboard. It just has some ups and his downs, but uh, it's, uh, it's a good time. Oh, lighting is so nice right now. Ugh. Here it is. Oh, my God, I got to do, what does Nathan Kim do? I think it's like, it's like this. Well, this is my Southpaw full size. Not the greatest board I've ever built, but still a very nice board. Um, man, a full size custom. This is my first ever full size custom. Kind of excited to put this on my desk and get and really get some mileage out of it, to be honest. Because, um, like, I can use this, oops, this wrong side. I can use the numpad for, like, key quiz stuff. Uh, and I think it'll be pretty good for key quiz stuff, to be honest. So. Yeah, and I got, I got everything. I don't even. I don't even need layers. I don't even need layers. Imagine that, everyone. No layers required. Ugh. Now I'm just gonna reprogram this, and spend the rest of my day relaxing on a Sunday. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Stay healthy, and no matter what, keep on keyboarding. Boop, 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 boop.